What is going on YouTube? Shane here. We're going to check out Winners Really Really. I uh, just took a look at Fool, which was a breakup, kind of post-breakup song coming from the guy saying he did, you know, did wrong and what he did wrong. Although the music video was very crazy and I really couldn't understand it very well. I even looked up interpretations on video and couldn't really find any <laughs> valid interpretations of that music video except for one thing about it, which I already noticed anyways. So, uh, but I did read that it's supposed to be taking place after this really, really music video. I don't know if this is actually true, uh, but I'm pretty sure Fool was released before really, really, so I don't know. Uh, but I imagine it was going to be really fun and upbeat, because uh, that's usually how they do uh, these dual releases. So let's check out really, really, guys. And sorry if I'm a little bit tired. I am. All right. I imagine it's gonna be much more normal. All right. All right. I see the really big, big, long ass set of stairs. They they just shot that for in two takes. Where the hell are? Oh, I I read this was in L.A. I think. And the other one was in God knows where. The other new video was. The other one was in another dimension. It was it was bad out there. That was one of the most bizarre music videos, especially when you compare it to the lyrics of it. Fool. Uh, it was a it was a great strong ballad. I mean that showed off their their vocal talents, but I didn't understand the connection between the lyrics, the meaning of the lyrics, and the very strange music video. Except for a few possible connections, or maybe one. All right. So this one is more of an art art form. Nice, nice lyrics, people dancing. It just seems like a more fun, uh, easier to film artistic form. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, where the hell did the extra extra set of hands come from? They did a really good job hiding that. This has an artistic feel with the black and white and uh, just outside of some kind of some plaza of maybe. It's not a hotel, I don't know what it is, some kind of uh, interesting uh, building with interesting architecture. So we get a little bit of uh, choreography, a little bit of artistic work here. Some random dancing girls. So you can see that YG threw their money in, when it comes to the music video into the, into the full music video, because this one is pretty simple. Um, it didn't cost them much to produce this. Just they had to pay some, uh, act, you know, actresses. That's it. And and the venue to, to, to use it for the maybe I don't know, twelve hours maybe they might have used it for at most. Maybe not even because it looks pretty basic. And they rented a what is it a Mercedes? Well, yeah, they rented one of those. And that. All right. So again, someone, the interpretation is that. Oh wait. Oh! All right, they paid. They, they, they got some goddamn bang, 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 freaking hydraulics going on in here. All right, damn. All right. <laughs> all right. So, why did you just use, reuse the, the hydraulics from that uh, from that uh, Big Bang music video? <laughs> what the hell's going on? God damn. All right. Is this the actual choreography for the song? Okay, I guess that is. Some of it looked like it was just to be artistic, like simplified version of it. But that, that's okay. That's strong, okay, alright. Alright. But you can see that they definitely focus more on the other music video. But out of the two songs, I, I tend to like upbeat songs more. But the other ballad was. Uh, Good, and when it came to the to the vocals, uh, though the you know it was a song that was sad, uh, but the music video was bizarre for Fool, so I still don't understand it. Uh, and this other person's interpretation of it was that this was connected to this song, uh, this other song here, but the other song didn't have a st real storyline to it. Uh, the only story that you can find in if forget about the the um, uh, the lyrics of this song. If we're looking at just the interpretation of the music video, uh, which I'm again going to look up as, uh, as well while I'm talking to you, if we look at, uh, look at just the interpretation, 
it this is really artistic it shows more happier side um and oh, here we go let's see here this is the same thing i was looking at um all right two singles really well um, you're not giving me much here guys uh anyway all it is is that um they're happy you know they're they're dancing they they got they got cars going up and down it's black and white which could be foreboding something but it's upbeat and and happier um however i don't see the way that this has some kind of um uh way that it goes into the next um music video i don't see a connection between the two um but let's see here looking at the lyrics again oh yeah okay all right yeah it, it's all right yeah exactly it, it's just again it's um, an upbeat song yeah it, it does talk about um the girl and whatnot but it doesn't portray that in the music video either except for yeah they're so they're dancing with some girls or whatever but even in the music video the girls that seem there seem more like they were just there you know to be you know cute backup dancers and and add to the to the um scenes of the actual uh music video they didn't seem like they were really meant to portray much of um a meaning uh so i don't know i'm a little bit confused with this uh with this video uh and and the other video uh Still very powerful lyrics from Winner, uh, powerful vocal um, effort. We had some pretty cool choreography as well, as well as some rapping in both in uh, both the um, Fool uh, single and music video and this one. Uh, however, the music video themselves uh, themselves are quite disjoint in, in their in their meanings. Uh, I in my opinion, uh, again this one was was more simple and and this art based. I think the other one was obviously a higher budget production uh and i mean very cool very aesthetically pleasing uh music video but i could not understand w what the lyrics connected to what i was seeing on the screen except for maybe perhaps one part which is something i also saw in the interpretation which was um the guy like killing the girl but i don't think they actually meant that uh, which could have just been a literal interpretation of his mistakes but that was only one that was like one scene of like four or five seconds out of the whole music video in full. So I still not, I'm not really getting it. Um, and the article that said that this, these are connected, that fool came after really, really, I, I don't understand that either. That's just someone's interpretation because this does not have a lot of storyline in it. It was more of, of just an artistic black and white music video shot in a uh, LA complex somewhere with, with backup dancers. Uh, they're all happy with there was some cars involved, uh, but very basic with some with with choreography uh, highlighted as well. So I don't see a, a strong enough storyline and really really to connect it to the extremely strong but unknown and hard to define storyline in Fool. So I'm I'm fooled, guys. I, I'm I'm stumped. I don't know what the meanings are of the of the music videos. Um, although the, the the meanings, if you guys want to look up the lyrics, if you don't don't know them. Uh, the the meanings of the lyrics for both of these are are very 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 straightforward and concise, but the music videos are not. Uh, really really I could can get by as an art artistic one, but fool I'm still really stumped by. I've actually never seen a music video in K-pop that was kind of that disjoint from its uh, lyrics. But you know it's okay. There, there maybe there is some real deep meaning that I haven't seen, and I maybe if I watch it again I'll I'll, I'll get it. So, in fact, after I do finish these, these uh, reaction videos, I'm going to watch the music video again on my own. And I'll, I'll post a comment if I can figure something out about it. Uh, but that was really hard to understand. Um, of course, like, for example, YG did, like, 21 Come Back Home. But that one, you know, that one was really intense. But it was very easy to understand. It was a really high-budget film as well. Uh, but it was very, very, very easy to understand what was going on. There was something that didn't understand everything. That ha that went on, uh, I understood most of it, uh, but there were some things that were a little bit too hard to comprehend in like a four minute music video, five minute, or however long it was. Uh, that some subscribers of mine said, "Oh yeah, Shane, this part meant that, this part was that." And I said, "Oh yeah, okay, that I can see that very easily." So hopefully you guys can do that here. But with that one, I understood most of it just from the first time I watched it, or second time. 
This one uh, was very, these ones were really hard to understand, especially Fool. All right, I'm going to shut up, guys. I'm rambling now. Uh, I'm sorry for being a little bit less upbeat. I'm sorry for being tired. Uh, I woke up in my dorm room. Uh, I guess I fell asleep for an hour in here uh, because I was so damn tired. Even though I slept really well and slept a long time last night, uh, I guess it's just uh, some depression going on for you know the past few few days of, for me. But uh, it'll go away. Uh, so we're gonna check out Taeyeon. We gotta make her love us, guys. So we're gonna check out Taeyeon. Make me love you. Uh, and I'm excited for that. I already love you, Taeyeon. So not gonna be that hard to make me love you. But I'm I'm gonna try to watch it anyway. So, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for checking this video out. Sorry if it's longer, rambling, whatever. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Good luck, you And I'll see you in the next one, guys. And this has been Shane's K-Pop Videos. Thanks for watching.